ladies and gentlemen, friends from all corners of the world that come together through the internet. My name is Gorilla Matt, and we are back with our week three NFL prediction stream. Let's do this thing. We had a not so great week last week. Yet again, we're not looking too great on this season, I'm gonna be honest with you, but hey, that's all gonna change in week three because I feel like I'm about to hit a hot streak. I feel like I now have an understanding who these teams are, how much passion these teams have for getting the dub. And ladies and gentlemen, I know who's gonna win the Super Bowl. I won't spoil it yet, but I know. For those of you living in Wisconsin, you're gonna be pretty damn happy. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Grilla Matt. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's do this thing right now. Our NFL week three of the 2022 season prediction stream. We are live right now. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, hello. My name is Grilla Matt. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this live on Twitch right now, twitch.tv twitch.tv slash Gorilla Matt. I appreciate you. If you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, because this gets exported to YouTube usually a few days after the actual stream, uh, Gorilla Matt TV, I appreciate you as well. Please consider dropping a sub on the YouTube channel because that's free. And if you're watching this on Twitch, please consider dropping a follow because following is free. Subbing is free on YouTube. Subbing is not free on Twitch unless you've got Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, did you know that you can subscribe to one of your favorite streamers for free? That's right, for free every month. If you have Amazon Prime, please consider subscribing. Not if if you don't like me, that's great. But find a streamer that you like, um, and it's 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 free money that you can just give to your favorite streamer. Um, I would like it to be me, but it doesn't have to be me. We got she said games in chat, and we've got the Walrus, the one, the only. David is Bakhtiari. I love it. She said games, and Walrus is the chicken cross the road because DTR was. <laughs> you made me wheeze, dude. Oh, Walrus, I love you, bro. I love you so much. I hope you're doing well. All of your uh, sunset pictures in Ohio make me miss Ohio because now I'm back in the Chicagoland area, dude. All right, let's uh, let's get started. Now, look, I know I didn't do this stream before Thursday night's game, uh, but there is there is there is proof on on Twitter. I don't feel like finding it right now. Where I said to my friend Gino, I was like, I want the Steelers to win, but I think the Browns are going to win. So I'm giving myself the dub for Thursday night's game. And if you have a problem with that, I really don't give a shit. The Browns have the better team, um, but I am just kind of over the Browns right now. I just I I hope Jacoby Brissett just balls out so Deshaun Watson comes back and they're like, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna ride with Jacoby. What's up, Jake? Welcome, welcome, Chicago Crush. <laughs> I know, Walrus. As a Packer fan, it pains me. Um, but I I wanted the Steelers to win, but I I knew the Browns were going to win, so the Browns would have been my pick. Um, we're giving we're, we're just giving myself the dub there. Um, we're starting the week off one and zero. Let me get my little app here on my phone open where I'm keeping track of all my weekly predictions. Um, let me get to week three, and okay, we got the Browns, which is a dub. Okay, so um, yeah, last week, let's see, last week I didn't do well at all. Like these first two weeks of the NFL season, I've just not gotten. A lot of games right. Broncos just add to my depression. I feel that, dude. Broncos look rough. Um, I we'll we'll we'll, we'll get there. We'll we'll talk all about uh all about these teams because now we're slowly starting to get a better grasp on the identity of these teams. Like which team? I mean, it, it is still too early to tell. I really think that it's it's around like week four, five, maybe even six that you really kind of have an idea of which team is what. Who are the powerhouses? Who are not? Who are like the the like wannabes who've had an easy start to the sea. I don't know. Like we'll get to all that, but now we're entering week three. We have a somewhat better idea of these teams. We still don't know. I mean, and it's so early in the season that any team could go and get hot right now. Um, but it's week three, baby. And uh, we're already one and oh for this, for the, for this, for the week. So that's awesome. But yeah, last week uh, I picked the chargers. They lost. I picked the Ravens. They lost. Pick the Browns, they lost. Pick the Lions, they won. Uh, pick the Colts, they lost. The Colts, we'll talk about the Colts. I really had high hopes for the Colts this season because I really felt like 
Matt Ryan was an upgrade to Carson Wentz, and I just I love the offensive line of the Colts. I like their defense, and you got to love Jonathan Taylor. And the Colts got blown out last week. What was it, 24-0? to We'll talk about it. Um, pick the Buccaneers, they won. Pick the Panthers, they lost. Pick the Steelers, they lost. Pick the Rams, they won. Pick the Niners, they won. Pick the Bengals, they lost. Oh, hey, Cincinnati, what the f*** are you doing to protect Joe Burrow? Oh, wait, I know the answer. Nothing. Joe Burrow is going to die behind that offensive line. It's not even an offensive line. Joe Burrow's offensive line is they're letting him die. Joe Burrow is going to be the next Andrew Luck. I'm really starting to worry that Joe Burrow is at one point just going to be like, I have my money. I would rather live to see the elderly part of my life. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that. Um, pick the Broncos. They won in kind of... I expected a more dominant win from the Broncos. We'll talk about that. Um, Raiders lost. The Packers won. The Bills won. And the Vikings lost. And you know what? I got to give the Eagles credit. Um, Eagles made the Vikings look bad. And as a Packer fan who in week one, obviously, uh, we shat the bed and the Vikings killed us. It was really nice to see the Vikings lose and primetime Kurt just <laughs> continue to live up to his primetime standards. But um, yeah, like I just the week two did not go well for me. Um, I think one of my biggest dubs was the Lions getting the win last week. I, I'm really high on the Lions, and I know you're probably like, Matt, you're a Packer fan. Why are you high on the Lions? They're, you're, they're your enemy. Uh, honestly, if it wasn't the Packers, I'd probably be a Lions fan in the NFC North. If I had to pick an NFC North team and it couldn't be the Packers, it'd be the Lions. I really like Dan, Dan Campbell. I like what he is doing in Detroit. I like a lot of the players on the Detroit roster. Um, I think Detroit's gonna is gonna kind of change their narrative, and I really hope so because uh, that poor city deserves to see some wins. Um, just as long as my Packers win, we'll get there. Okay, so uh, week three, ladies and gentlemen, we got some good matchups this week. We'll get to um, one thing that really kind of really I'm trying to figure out the wording that I want to use here. What really kind of was like a jab at the heart was Buffalo Bills lose safety Micah Hyde uh, for the season. He uh, Apparently, he's hurt. I don't know if it's neck or herniated disc, something along that line. So uh, Micah Hyde is out for the season, and that just that really hurts hurts my heart. Micah Hyde uh, was with the Packers for a long time. I'm pretty sure that we were the ones who drafted Micah. Um, and then he was let go, which I think is stupid. Same with Casey Hayward. Um, Aaron felt the same way, but... Um, I forever wish those guys, like most former Packers, I wish well. Um, and I root for them. Like, even though he's on the Vikings, I love Zadarius Smith. And a lot of people give Zadarius Smith crap. And I think it's stupid because before Zadarius Smith came to the Packers, the Packers defense was awful. Whenever our defense would take the field, I would like dread watching the Packers defense play. And Zadarius Smith just brought an energy, a persona to our defense that's still in effect now. Like our defense, the guys on defense just really took ownership of that pers like personification of what they are, what identity that they just feel like they identify with. And it's I, I honestly think Zadarius Smith was a huge part of that. And a lot of Packer fans give him a lot of grief because he went over to the Vikings because he wants to play the Packers twice a year and um, blah, blah, blah. And I, I think it's stupid. Uh, Zadarius Smith, if you ever see this, I know you've, you've, you and I have interacted a little bit on Twitter, um, which still like it, I fangirl over it every time I see that, like in, even on Instagram, like uh, when Zadarius Smith liked your comments, Zadarius Smith favorited your tweet. I'm like, dude, that's so cool. But I, I still like wish him well. And I still wish him the best, even former Packer players that aren't playing anymore. Um, Brandon Bostic, for example, gets so much hate. I get it. The 2014, and I'm, I'm going to go face cam here. Let's go face cam. Like, I get it. I get it. The 2014 NFC Championship game was rough. That is cool. Thanks, Walrus. Um, the, the, the NFC Championship of 2014 was rough, obviously. And if you were involved on any of those big plays that kind of shot ourselves in the foot, obviously you're going to feel bad. Obviously, Brandon Bostick feels bad about the outcome of that onside kick. Obviously. But, like, he was getting death, threat, death threats. Like, he deals with a bunch of anxiety, and I'm sure PTSD. He's very open about it on, on Twitter. 
And I just, I wish him well in life. Eddie Lacy, one of my absolute favorite running backs from the Packers. Like, prior to Eddie Lacy, we really didn't have a 1,000-yard rusher for a while. Like, Eddie Lacy came in, was rookie of the year, his rookie year, and just brought an energy to our running back room. And it was awesome. What's up, Aaron? So I, like, I wish him well. And everyone's like, oh, Eddie Lacy got fat. So he had a hard time getting his weight down. Doesn't mean we have to hate on him. Like, I love Eddie Lacy. I got to meet Eddie Lacy. I got a picture taken with Eddie Lacy. I've interacted with Eddie Lacy a few times on Twitter. Like, I wish him well. I wish a lot of former Packer players well. And so it's, I don't know. I, I feel like some Packer fans, not all, some Packer fans are almost just, I'm just going to say, it. they're rude as shit. Like, We've been very blessed and fortunate to have had the quarterback play that we have. And the whole argument, oh, two Hall of Fame quarterbacks and two Super Bowls over the however many years. Yeah, but at least they're Super Bowls. Minnesota, how many Super Bowls do you have? How Chicago in this time with Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, how many Super Bowls do you have? Lions will leave you out of this because I, I actually don't mind Lion fans. Lion fans are actually not too bad. I've, I've been to... Uh, the major I've seen a handful of uh, Packer Bears games in person. And I've been to a handful of Packers Lions games in person. Uh, Lions fans are always nice. I have nothing bad to say about Lions fans. Um, yeah, that's it. So um, there's one former Packer to hate on right now. It's Brett Favre. Yeah, we're not going to get into that because that that is super shitty. And I wish I say I don't want to get into that. And then I'm about to follow that up by saying I wish more media was like blasting him right now, and I'm choosing not to blast him. Um, but yeah, Brett Favre. <laughs> Yeah, that is that is a topic for another stream because I could get into a big rant about that. That's stupid. But um, I'm just a big fan of football and a fan of these players. And um, I don't know what started this rant, but here we are at the trail end, tail end of it. Let's get back to the games this week. Aaron's probably still drunk. We were talking a little bit on Twitter and Aaron was like, I'm feeling buzzed. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Aaron Tiller, my mod, one of my oldest mods from the YouTube days and the Twitch, couldn't do this thing without her. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's get into week three here. We've had a rough time kind of picking. I'm hoping week three can kind of turn ourselves around. Uh, so the Sunday games, tomorrow night, tomorrow's games. Uh, we start with the Saints traveling to Carolina. I, I'm really rooting for Baker Mayfield. I want Baker Mayfield to just light it up. And it sucks so bad that his team is 0-2 right now because I just feel like he kind of got screwed over in Cleveland and I want to see him succeed. Whew, sorry, I ate dinner like 30, 45 minutes ago and it's like I can feel it like sitting right here. So I was like catching my breath there. I'm like, ooh, I have a little reflux like heartburn right now. <laughs> right now now i'm good now to be honest i wish i was still buzzed hey uh after this stream for those of you who are going to be hanging around i'm going to end the stream and then go live immediately um with either some fortnite or um some more pokemon wild so if you guys want to hang out um play fortnite with me or watch some more pokemon wilds gameplay uh when this football stream ends i'm going to immediately restart the stream and go live so if you guys want to play let's do it i can never like do this with my left hand very well but right hand i can do it really easy the Aaron Rodgers, like, hippie. Yeah. Um, also, if we play Fortnite, maybe I'll get buzzed for Fortnite. I was originally only going to do this football stream, Aaron, and then I was like, nah. I know people are going to want to play some games. So anyway, let's get back to football. Let's get back to football. There's going to be time to talk in a little bit. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll grab a bottle of wine. We'll have a good time playing Fortnite. Um, all right, Saints, Panthers. It really depends on which Jameis Winston shows up at this game. Um, it really does. Um, because the Saints, I feel like, were doing such a good job last week against Tampa Bay, and then they just shat the bed. They shot themselves in the foot um, at the end of that game, and then Tom Brady got his win against the Saints, and Tom Brady's the greatest! Tom Brady's great. There's no denying that, but my God, retire, man. I can't wait. Honestly, though, I cannot wait until Tom Brady is in the broadcast booth doing whatever he's doing in the media world, because I think he's going to have a really great insight into these games like i love peyton manning's um like manning cast for monday night football and i think tom brady's gonna be great for that like you, when you get these just brilliant minds who know the game inside now i think they can offer a lot to the fans to greater appreciate the game um i'm like just going on tangents tonight i 
Let's just talk for a little bit. Aaron says she really wants to see the Titans and Raiders game. Yeah, I'm pulling for the Raiders there. God, I want to see Devontae just ball out. But anyway, hey, you know who's another player um, I've interacted with a few times now on social media? Um, former Packers backup quarterback and now 49ers backup quarterback, Kurt Benkert. Cannot say enough good things about Kurt. Um, he was doing like these TikToks where he was like breaking down plays. Um, it's just it, when you can get that extra insight that for those like you didn't grow up playing football or like I, you, obviously – I would imagine a lot of you watching, if not all of you watching, never made it to the NFL. <laughs> oh, darn. Um, so kind of getting that background behind the closed doors, kind of insight into the game, the thought process behind a play, breaking down a play, looking at the different coverages and what the quarterback is thinking of when they're in that moment is really cool. I really want to see, uh, of course, I'm hoping Tom Brady gets his ass kicked by A-Rod. We'll get to that. Um that's really cool. Kurt does a lot of that, um, which is why I really like Pat McAfee. For those of you who don't know, Pat McAfee, former punter for the Indianapolis Colts, also nominated for this next year's uh, professional uh, National Football League's uh, Hall of Fame. Um, that's kind of crazy. I he said that he's he, that uh, he should not be inducted. There are way better players than him, and he's just being so humble. Um, I love Pat, but he does the podcast Monday through Friday, the Pat McAfee 2.0, and um, Pat McAfee show 2.0 and he, the, he just the guests that come on and how he talks. It's you really just learn a lot of the ins and outs of the game and things that you wouldn't think about as a fan. And it's really cool. Um, and I really appreciate that. Um, anyway, back to the last scene. <laughs> this is a, this, is a a ranting prediction stream. If you guys couldn't tell. Um, all right, let's just get into this. Depends on which uh, Jameis Winston comes into this game. Um, I feel like the Saints are going to win, and I, I feel so bad for the Panthers, but I'm going Saints. I'm going Saints, I, but I'm, I'm going Saints, but I'm rooting for the Panthers. Um, Texans, Bears, I think the Texans could get this win. I really do. I think the Texans could get this win, but I could also see the Bears getting the win, and they're playing in Chicago. Uh, I think the Bears can get the win. I think the Bears will get the win, but I'm rooting for the Texans. I'm going to go Bears, but I want the Texans. All right, next. We got the Chiefs and Colts. All right, the Colts, I don't even know what to say about the Colts. Uh, the Colts look awful. The Bears are still owned by A-Rod. That damn straight, Aaron. Damn straight. Um, but, hey, the Colts, I, I don't know what they're doing. I, I don't I don't know what's happening in Indianapolis, but I really hope they figure it out. But I don't think they're figuring it out this week against that Chiefs offense. I look back and see Tom Brady's ass and <laughs> I'm talking about game. God damn it. Walrus. <laughs> um, I think the Chiefs go in and just stomp the Colts. And I feel bad saying that because I want to I want to see the Colts get the win, but I the the, the Colts have not shown me that they're up there at the same level as the Chiefs. I, I you tied the Texans week one, and then you just got shut out by the Jacksonville Jaguars. The team that, for the last two years, have had the number one overall pick in the draft. I, she said games. I know. I was thinking the same thing. It's crazy that Fields has not tried throwing the ball as much as he has. Um, but, it, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I... She said games. You're making me want to reverse my decision and say the Texans are going to win that one. Should I do it? I mean, it is a Lovey Smith revenge game. Lovey Smith coming back to Chicago. Cheese uh, head. You're making me want to change my mind. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back. We'll come back. Um. All right, so this next game I think is going to be a great game. It really sucks that Micah hides out. It, that really, that really, I feel so bad for Micah. Um, I'm still going Buffalo over the Dolphins. I think the Dolphins have a great team, and I think the Bills and Dolphins are going to be fighting for that AFC East. But I, I'm going with the Bills. I, I am very high on the Bills right now. Josh Allen just looks 
like a true MVP candidate. Like I, I'm, I'm loving this Bills team. Give me the Bills all day. I think the Dolphins can put up a fight, but I'm giving the Bills, especially if the Bills take a lead early. Like, yeah, okay, the Dolphins came back and they had an amazing comeback last week against the Ravens. And obviously, the Ravens are a solid team, but Buffalo's not letting you come back. Buffalo's not letting you come back. Even with Micah Hyde out, I still like that Buffalo defense. Can I get a oh, yeah. We have a new subscriber. Aaron. Until a gifted a tier one sub to all rulers. They have given 12 gift subs in the channel. Aaron, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Walrus, welcome to the Gorilla Mat family, and now you have access to all these amazing emotes. Um, thank you, Aaron. Um, Lions Vikings, I'm going Lions again. I'm going Lions again. I, this Lions team is so underrated. I, I, I'm i going to the Lions here, also because I hate the Vikings. Next. Ravens at Patriots. I'm going Ravens. I think the Ravens, they you know they obviously lost an ugly game. I only gifted one. Not drunk. Just wanted to gift Walrus because I remember him. Yeah, Walrus is good. Now, this isn't the same Walrus from YouTube. That, like, Fortnite Walrus. Um, this is a walrus who I met in real life. Um, we used to play the mobile game The Walking Dead Road to Survival together. Um, and he's good people. He's good people. Um, next time I'm in Ohio, he and I are going to have to connect again. Um, I'm going Ravens here against the Patriots. I like Bill Belichick, but I like this Ravens team a lot more than I like Bill Belichick. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <coughs> Clearly, I've talked too much today. Um... Bengals at Jets. If the Bengals lose to the Jets, I will be seriously worried about the Bengals. I'm going with the Bengals. But if the Bengals lose, man, they're they're in trouble. Shoes! Like almost 20 years ago. I feel old. <clears throat> it wasn't 10 years ago. You know what's great, though? That no long I no longer play the road to survival. We're going off topic again. Um, is I'm not blowing, I'm not blowing money. Dude, I spent so much money on that game. Dude. I was a whale. Uh, I wasn't even the largest whale in that, in that, in the Etowa region, but, but God damn. God, we're not, yeah, we're. I remember, uh, we're going to go on a little tangent here again, because this is just what we're doing. If someone chats in one minute, I give to them a sub. If you are a lurker who are not currently subscribed to me, type a letter in chat. I don't. E I won't even acknowledge you, but Aaron will gift you, so you'll have access to some subs. Um, <laughs> Cheesehead, yeah, Aaron. Cheesehead isn't a uh, sub. I'm just. I'm just saying, Aaron. Um, since you got that credit card out, uh, Cheesehead Games isn't a sub. Um, so I mean, it'd be really nice if you if you gift Cheesehead Games a sub. You don't have to, but it'd be really cool if you did. Uh, yeah, so uh, if you, you know, can I get a, uh, yeah, Aaron, you want to, you want to, Aaron, you want to drop a, a sub to Cheesehead Games? Um, it's only $5. Can I get a, oh, yeah, we have a new subscriber. Let's go. Until a gifted a tier one sub to Cheesehead Games. They have given 13 gift subs in the channel. Let's go, Aaron. <laughs> Sorry, I was being so obnoxious there. I appreciate you so much, Aaron. Two subs this stream. I appreciate you um let's go she said games welcome back all right um i don't even remember where i was going with that conversation um oh Bengals. yeah um was it bang i lost my train of thought football We'll just go back to me. Oh, we love football. Anyway, okay, yeah. Bengals uh, better get the win if they don't. I, I'm going to call the Bengals dead if they lose this week to the Jets. Raiders, Titans. I'm going Raiders. This Titans team is also dead. Raiders. I think the Raiders have a bounce back game this week. Um, I think Devontae Adams is going to ball out this week. I really do. Um... Next, got Eagles Commanders. I am I now understand the Eagles hype. At the start of the season, I really didn't understand the, the hype around the Philadelphia Eagles. I get it now. The Eagles look damn good. Jalen Hurts is the guy. Um, is it too early to say that? Probably, but I'm saying it anyway. Uh, I think the Eagles get this win. Next, you got the Jaguars at Chargers. 
Um, is Herbert playing? I don't know. I think Herbert is playing. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Herbert was hurt. Hold on, folks. Are you a oh, not what I wanted to look at. Ah, shit, news. I don't. Ah, hold on. I need to look this up. Justin Herbert injury. <clears throat> Justin Herbert listed as questionable. George Kittle and Michael Pittman set to return. Chargers must deal with Justin Herbert's rib injury. Yeah, because I think he's got a broken, like... He's got broken ribs, I think. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, uh, let's go live sit here. We'll read this together. Uh, he got hurt. He broke like something in like in near or around his ribs. I'm not entirely sh sure. A uh, fractured rib cartilage. That's what he did. Fractured ri rib cart. I knew it was something around the ribs, but I didn't think it was the actual ribs. Um, Justin Herbert's a dog, though. I think he. I think he plays. I think he plays. I think Herbert plays through the discomfort because I just feel like that's that's who he is. I'm going Chargers. Going Chargers. Yeah, going Chargers. I like the Chargers. And they're at home. Uh, Rams, Cardinals. I'm going Rams. I don't think the Cardinals deserve to win that game last week. Um, obviously, Kyler Murray is a little bit of a cheat code, but I, I, I like this Rams team. And the Rams kind of need to win, too. If the Rams started the season one and two as the Super Bowl champions, that's that's tough. Um, Falcons, Seahawks. um, neither <laughs> i don't even know um i'll go seahawks that's a that's a toss-up for me i have no idea packers bucks packers listen 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 a lot of players on the bucks are out right now with either a suspension thank you mike evans or uh injured like they're injured Packers are getting David Bakhtiari back. Um, obviously, Sammy Watkins on IR for the next four weeks, which sucks. And I don't, like, understand how he aggravated his hamstring. But I'm also not going through practice on, on every day of the week, pretty much, and playing uh, football games every week. So uh, Sammy Watkins re-aggravated his hamstring in injury, so he's going to be out on IR for the next four weeks. Um, yeah, exactly, she said, games. I think we're going to need to run that football. We're going to need to run it well. And I, I love our running backs. Um, obviously the Buccaneers defense is solid and I think they're going to, they're going to, they're going to do some work, but with Elton Jenkins, um, back on the right side, we got David, the giraffe on the left side. Um, our offensive line is going to look good. Um, but give me the Packers. I think, yeah, Aaron Jones had a beast of a week last week and AJ Dillon, these first two weeks has looked great too. Um, I feel good. I feel good about this meeting between the Packers and the Bucks. Honestly, um, the Bucks are going to be tough. That's that's just how it's going to be. The Bucks are a great team. 
Tom Brady is a fantastic quarterback, but give me give me the Packers. Give me the Packers here. I, I feel good about the Packers. Um, I might be feeling a little too overconfident, but I, I, I feel good. I do. I feel good about the Packers. Um, I just think this is the last game between Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady unless they meet again in the playoffs because let's be real, both of these teams are going to be making the playoffs unless a huge injury happens, um, which I would hate to see for either team. Um, Aaron's going to want to like increase his record against Tom Brady. Obviously it's not Aaron's fault that, um, for all of the losses, um, obviously he played his part. Sometimes he didn't play his part well enough, but it wasn't just Aaron Rodgers that lost. Um, he's going to want that record to be a little bit better. So I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be playing with a little bit more of a chip on his shoulder this game. Um, so I'm going, I'm going Packers here. I think the Packers, I think it's going to be a little bit of a revenge game for the Packers. Uh, next, you got the 49ers at the Broncos to close off uh, tomorrow night, tomorrow's uh, slate of games. We got the 49ers traveling to Broncos Nation. Let's rock. Look, I'm going to be honest. I, this Broncos team, I don't know how I feel about them yet. I mean, I know a little bit how I feel. I, I don't feel good about this Broncos team. Um, Still have it in face cam. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I know. I'm in the face cam. The next game is 49ers and Broncos. I don't really know which screen I like. You know, I got the live scene, got this screen. I guess we'll talk for a little bit on the uh, 49ers and Broncos, then we'll go back to the live scene. Um, thank you, Aaron. At first, I read your comment and I was like, "What is she talking about?" I was like, "Ah." Um. 49ers Broncos. I. I don't. I. I don't feel really great about this Bro Broncos team. I don't. I thought they were going to be much better, and they really haven't looked that great in these two weeks. Um, just saying. I mean, I'm sorry. You opened the season going to Seattle, a, a team that I truly thought that they would kind of stomp, and they didn't. Like, Seattle beat them. Um, the 49ers, it really, look, it sucks when your quarterback goes out with an injury for the entire year, or even any any portion of the year, let alone the entire year. And Trey Lance obviously getting hurt and he's out for the entire season sucks. Um, my next comment, I don't mean for it to come out, come across insensitive because that's not my intention at all. Um, I don't want it to sound bad, but it might sound bad, but I, I don't mean for it to sound bad. I think the team got better. I think I I, I think Jimmy G is gonna is gonna play well. He played well last week. I think Jimmy G carries the 49ers team. I I, I think Jimmy G is better than Trey Lance. I, I said it. And I don't mean to be rude to Trey Lance. I just. I think Jimmy G is, is the upgrade to quarterback there. That's just my opinion. Um, obviously, the, uh, Russell Wilson has experience playing the 49ers. Um, but. So maybe maybe that maybe that experience. Maybe that experience of Russell playing the 49ers as many times as he has will help the Broncos kind of kickstart their season um you know maybe but jimmy yeah jimmy g is still i wouldn't really call him a beast but he played like a beast last week so I'll, you know pat pat's on his back um but you got george kittle back yeah i i agree aaron it's not bad to play new guys and i think trey lance would have been a great quarterback he's going to be one of those young mobile quarterbacks and he's got an arm I think Trey Lance is going to be a fantastic quarterback. Um, I just think that at this current point in time, Jimmy G is better. And that's just my opinion. I can be completely wrong. Um, that being said, I, I'm i going with the 49ers. Garoppolo's getting uh, Kittle back. I, I like this 49ers team a little bit more, and I like this Broncos team. Um, let's go back to the live scene. Just got to yell, run her past. And that video, that video, Cheesehead Games, of Russell Wilson doing that on the sidelines was so cringy dude and i get it like russell wilson like i always i always thought it was just a character like that's his persona that he just puts on like but that's him i guess i guess he, that i guess that's how russell wilson is 100 percent of the time and i props to you for being your authentic self but your authentic self is annoying as shit um sorry russ if you're ever watching this russell wilson i love you but Broncos Nation. 
That's right. All right, last game of the week is uh, Monday night's game. We got the Cowboys at the Giants. I'm going Giants here. I'm going Giants. I don't... I can't believe I'm saying that, too, because I like this Cowboys team, but they're without... Oh, I'm sorry. Huh. Um, it's only 9.15 my time, too. I don't know why I'm yawning. Um, what's up, Raven? I, I just think... I'm about to, like, change my mind. I know. I'm sorry, Aaron. Uh, for those of you who are, are just tuning in or, or you know, uh, weren't here when I said it earlier, when this stream ends, I'm immediately going to go live again with some Fortnite or um, some more Pokemon Wilds. I'm kind of leaning towards Pokemon Wilds because I'm really enjoying that game. But I also might play some Fortnite so that I can... I didn't buy the whole Battle Pass this season, and so I kind of need to play Fortnite a little bit more so I can level up my, my Battle Pass. So, anyway. Um... <sighs> It feels weird because the Giants are 2-0, and but I don't know if it, they're like 8. They are 2-0. and You can't take that away. Um, but are they like a, like, are they a, are they a Kansas City Chiefs 2-0? and Are they a Tampa Bay Buccaneers 2-0? and No. No. But are they 2-0? and Yeah. I'm going to go Giants here. Yeah, the reason I didn't buy the whole Battle Pass is because the last few seasons I have bought the whole Battle Pass, I've still gotten to, like, way past level 200 plus. And, and that was, like, playing as minimally as I did. So I'm like, you know what? I think I'll be okay. I got the last one for Darth Vader. Hey, I can respect it. I did, too. I wanted Darth Vader. And then you saw that, like, pouch that he had in his crotch. And then he didn't get a lightsaber pickaxe. And I went, this sucks. All right, that, those are my picks. <laughs> I guess it was I guess it wasn't a short stream. The stream is already almost 40 minutes long, but And some of the Dragon Ball Z stuff, dude. That Dragon Ball Z stuff was so much fun. I know a lot of people hated it. I had so much fun with it, dude. I want Gwen that's better. Dude, I want Gwen too. That that Gwen skin looks so good. I've thought about buying the battle pass just for the Gwen. They're like, no, I'll I'll earn. I'll earn. I'll stumble. I'm not even drunk and I'm stumbling over my words. I got to earn the Gwen skin. All right, let's go through these picks so we can jump into another game. I'm probably going to play some Fortnite, so Aaron log on so you can carry me to some wins. Okay, good, thanks. Um, all right, so we picked the Browns. They won. Uh, we're going to go Saints, Bears, Chiefs, Bills, Lions, Ravens, Bengals, Raiders, Eagles, Chargers, Rams, Seahawks, Packers, 49ers, Giants. Those are my picks. Those are my picks. If you don't like them, that's too damn bad. Um... Packers winning the Super Bowl. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>